If I destroy this, the evil eye will be gone forever. Can I really be so close to my goal? Please. Enough of this. Let this be the end! Yawn! Kiro, Kiro. Son. Son. Huh? Father? Yes. yes. This is your this father's is your soul. soul. Yawn! You, you can talk! Not back Not there, back there. But, in but in this place, place yes. Yon is a creature of this world. What kind of world is this? Did you know all along, Father? No, not at first. But as I watched Yon over time, I came to know her story. Yon wandered into my life just before the Rune Cannons appeared. I decided to track down the Rune Cannons, the type you call the Evil Eye, to find the connection. But Father, because you did that, you died. Don't let it worry you anymore. Yon saved my soul. And now, Kiro, thanks to all of you, Yon can return to her own world. I just wanted all of it to end. I thought if I destroyed the room cannons... I have long sought a way home. When the giant tree was summoned, I too was caught up and sent here. Walter taught me hope. Told me that I wouldn't be stranded forever. But you showed me the way home. And now an end has become a new beginning. What do you mean? Every ending is but a new beginning. Now that we've created this place, Yon and I can travel to the world beyond. Huh? You're going too, Father? That was my plan. But why? Kiro, do you know why you were able to enter here unharmed? <sighs> it's because half of the blood that flows within you is yawns. What? I'm going with her into the world beyond. My time here is fading. Will you join us? The gate closes soon. Kiro. I... I can't go. My friends are waiting for me. I don't belong where you're going. I understand. You're doing what you know to be best. Take care, Kill. I'm very proud of you. Tell Andark and the others how grateful I am. 
and tell them I'm sorry. I will, Father. Farewell. Or should I say, Mother? Kiro, thank, thank you for you all for you've all done. done. Now, now, just like just the first like time I had, time you, I had you, you shall be you born shall again be born from this place. of the evil eye have vanished. No! You said you'd be back, Kiro. You promised. Why? Why did this happen? Why? Yeah, and Dark? Will you go back to Scarlet Moon now? Yep. It'll mean going back empty-handed, but what else can I do? Anyway, it's all for the best. I didn't really want to take that thing back to Scarlet Moon. That sounds like the coop I know. I'm not really cut out for this sort of work. Once I file my report, I'm washing my hands of it all. I wonder if the Rune Cannons are truly gone for good. Even if they aren't, I've decided to never let them be used again. They're far too dangerous. Yes, Your Majesty. Funny how things turn out. We suffered so much at the hands of the Kuluk, but just look at them now. Their empire collapsed from within. It wasn't our doing. Always the voice of reason, aren't you, Mizuki? All right then. Finally, time for us to go home. Is the Empire really gone? How could our hopes amount to so little? It's all because of Iskis. He... No. No single person is to blame. Surely we too are guilty. Guilty of pride, deception, and many other sins. <sighs> well, well. A member of the Imperial faction who actually gets it. Still, it's too late now. So, that was the last of the Rune Cannons, huh? Lady Kika, what are we gonna do now? Same as we always have. Who needs a rune cannon anyway? Hey, Dario. You're not too yellow-bellied to set sail without one, are you? They're right, Papa. We should all just go back to the way it used to be. Well, all right.
right. You're talking to Lady Kika's right-hand man here. I don't need no rune cannon to raise hell. That's the spirit, Dario. Something wrong? What is that? And so it was that the mysterious creatures known only as evil eyes vanished from our world. Corselia thought hard about the choices before her. Eventually she decided to let the Kuluk Empire collapse. It seemed to her the best choice she could make at the time, both for her and for her subjects. And so the curtain fell on the chain of events connecting the Rune Cannons and the Kuluk Empire. In time, those who could even recall what had happened grew fewer and fewer. Meanwhile, Kirill returned home to live in the Scarlet Moon Empire, helping the needy with Andark and the others. But every so often... A distant, lonely look would cloud his face. Years went by, but Kirill did not age like the others. He remained ever youthful in appearance. Finally, he set out one day on a journey with no particular destination in mind. He was never seen again. Dear Andark and Seneca, I hope this letter finds you well. I have now visited just about every place that Kirill might have gone, but I have yet to find any trace of him. I suppose he simply does not want to be found. I have come to believe this more and more strongly. Simeon, who joined me in my search, seems to think so too. I plan on searching a little longer, but if I still do not find him, I shall return to visit you for a time. I also made a short trip to Kuluk, or should I say, the land that was once Kuluk. My disguise was much better this time, so nobody recognized me. Some villages have been absorbed into the Scarlet Moon Empire, while others have been abandoned. I do not yet know whether I made the right decision, but the people seem content. At least I can find solace in that. 
Yours truly, Corselia. My tale ends here. Even if, having read this book, you wish to learn more about the evil eye and the man they called Kirill, I believe that these mysteries will never be solved. For if other rune cannons remain lost, awaiting rediscovery, 
I do not see how another evil eye could ever be born again to this world. But know you this, in a corner of this world, for one fleeting moment in time, all of this was real and dark Bergman. <laughs>